Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today is Friday, which means we do requests. And a while, while back in like January, I posted a comment, uh, a post on my Facebook group asking what your favorite movie was. And this was one of them and I'm starting to get into some of those as well as the requests. We're pulling for some here, pulling for some there, and eventually all of them will be gone. So if you guys have any requests, drop them in the comments below and I'll add it to my Google Doc where I pull from for uh, my schedule. So today we're going to be talking about Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing was released in 1987. It was written by Eleanor Bergstein and directed by Emil Ardolino, which is a really cool name. And uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. We never have spoilers in these reviews. Never. But I've never seen this movie before, um, before today. And what was interesting for me was that I went into it not expecting to like it, okay? Because my parents like it, and I tend to not like a lot of the movies they like. But, uh... The more I watched this, the more I actually liked it, which is crazy. Um, but I did really like it. Essentially, it's about this girl who is basically trying to learn how to dance and is liking it because she needs to fill in for this other girl who has to have an abortion. Uh, it's a long story. Um, and it's about this guy uh, who is a dance instructor and they fall in love. And it's a really cute love story surrounded by dance and, and music and fun, right? Which, again, I also just don't like 80s movies when it has to do with 80s music, right? I don't. I like 80s movies. I really do like The Breakfast Club and, you know, Ferris Bueller. And all of those were great movies, but they didn't have to surround themselves with 80s music, right? Whereas Dirty Dancing, it's a pretty big deal that it's all, you know, old music. Uh, so I was already expecting to not like it. However... I fell in love with these characters. These characters are amazing. I love... All right, listen. Let's, let's go in character by character here. Okay. We have Johnny Castle, who's great. He's he's this dance instructor, and he just loves to dance. He likes to just get into it and just dance a lot. And it's really entertaining, and he loves it so much. You can see he's got the passion for it. But he's got this issue where he can't, you know, land steady gigs, and he's been doing the summer job forever, and he has to do it a certain way. And he has this, this thing where he falls in love with the females, um, which then hinders his reputation. And it, it's this balance of, like, who is he and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's really, really interesting that we have to see that. And as well as Baby Houseman. Um, Baby's great. She really, really is. Um, she basically has this father who's a doctor and, and kind of controlling on her and she just wants to go out and have fun and party and he does not like that. He frowns upon that. Um, but eventually she gives up. She's like, I need to do this for me. And she does. And she dances and she loves it. And she's very good at it. And it, it's a really nice story between these two falling in love and, and her realizing that it's a real love and him realizing that it's a real love and not just one of another one of his, you know, summer flings. I think that the music was actually really good here. I think a lot of its choices were really strong. I do think that some choices could have been better, but this is really nitpicking at that point. Um, and I think that the dancing, the choreography was really, really solid. And it really sold that, like, she didn't really know what she was doing, but he was helping her know what to do, right? Because sometimes when you're watching something and you're, you're like, wow, she's really not supposed to know how to dance, but she's dancing really well. Whereas here, we're like, wow, she doesn't know how she's dancing, but she's dancing really well because we know that Castle is helping her along the way, which is a nice little a nice little additive that they, I guess they didn't really need, but it worked for me. I liked seeing that, which was nice. And like the overarching story was great, especially considering a lot of the lower characters had big plot points. Like, the girl that had to have the abortion was huge, the father was huge, and like all of these awesome supporting characters were so important. And, and they made it easy for us to understand them, right? Which is a big deal, because when you have supporting characters, a lot of times they get kind of shoved to the wings because they don't have a lot of screen time. And they're like, ah, well, there's no point in developing them because they're just not going to be on screen very much, much, right? But here, the writing and the directing shows that they care about every character, and each character is developed. And honestly, I'm really happy about that because it could have been a mess. There are a couple issues that I didn't like with it. I didn't really like the pacing. A lot of the weird pacing issues in the beginning kind of felt like start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. Once we get into the fact that, you know, Baby's going to have to step in um, for this other girl, we get into this more rhythmic pace where we're like, okay, wow, we're really steadily growing, steadily growing. And then, of course, with the dance instructing, we learn about the love, and it's it's a really nice additive pace. But the beginning was pretty slow and, and, and honestly kind of hard to grasp. 
Um, which, you know, it, it is kind of a negative, but it's not a huge deal. It just means that it might have lost some audiences a um, little earlier than they probably should have. Uh, if they had maybe pushed it along a little bit quicker, uh, I think that they might have been able to withstand some of the um, some of the issues that might have occurred in the beginning of the film. Uh, let's talk about the acting. Patrick Swayze as Johnny Castle. Perfect. Wow. He is stunning. He is fast. He is smooth. And he is awesome. I loved him here. And just really the dynamic. Because it really is a couple movie. Right? So we have him. We also have Jennifer Grey as Baby Houseman, Who is equally fantastic. And, and she's able to be sweet. But also aggressive and passionate. Which is nice. But really what it comes down to is J Johnny Castle and Baby Houseman, Right? So we have Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey together as one unit and they work so well together it is amazing I, I i don't even know if they've been in movies together before but this was outstanding for me it's similar to um leonardo dicaprio and kate winslet right who were in titanic but also in revolutionary road and you can see that and you can see that they were able to balance their relationship in both of those and really sell it to audiences and i think that they would be able to do it with these two characters here um however unfortunately uh patrick swayze passed away um, I do believe Jennifer Grey is still kicking, but I don't know. I haven't Googled it. Um, and I don't know if they've ever been in another movie together. Uh, if you guys know, drop in the comments below. But uh, I think it's going to be it for me talking about Dirty Dancing. I really, really liked it. Definitely a movie that everyone should watch. It's so much fun. And I'm going to go ahead and give Dirty Dancing an A. Not a perfect movie, but pretty darn close. I really like this movie. Let me know what you guys thought about Dirty Dancing in the comments below. And uh, make sure you guys are staying tuned because I'm going to be doing some new releases today. Um, probably, let's see what it is. Yes, I'll be doing new releases today. Um, and if you guys want to stay tuned for that, a really nice thing that you could do would be to hit the little subscribe button. And uh, it's, a little, it's a little red button on the bottom of the, of the video. Um, and it's a huge help. I really, really would appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate all your guys' comments. I love reading them. So make sure you guys keep commenting on my videos. Um, it's so much fun. Share it if you feel like it. Like it if you feel like it. Uh, liking is always helpful. <laughs> and as always, keep watching movies and television, stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.